Well, hello. This is Brother Wes. This is Prophet Wes. Uh, coming back to you once again. Um, hopefully, uh, with another word of encouragement that these, this word that God gives me, that God has spoken to my heart, that will really stop you where you are and get you to really notice God speaking to you. My job is to just get you to just notice God. In every situation, notice God, notice his power, notice his glory, to remind you of his glory, to remind you of his power. And so today, what I want to do today is um, I want to talk about those who have a unrepentant heart. Your heart is unrepentant. That simply means that you get to a place where you're stubborn. I'm not going to do it no more. I ain't going to do it. I ain't going to do it. I'm done. And... This is where many of you are at. You just decided within yourself that you ain't going to do certain things no more. Your mind is fixed. Your mind is made up. You say it to yourself, I'm not going to do nothing. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to pray no more. I'm not going to be nice no more. I'm not going to fast no more. I'm not going to be friendly no more. I'm not going to be a giver no more. See, some of you, some of you that listen to me, a situation that came is that made you do something that you don't want to do. It's making you act a certain way. It's making you talk a certain way. It's making you walk a certain way. In other words, how you act, your walk, your relationship, your lifestyle, is making you become a certain person because you've allowed what's happened to you to become you. You've allowed the pain, the hurt, the betrayal, the deception to become you. See, some of you, you've been deceived so much now, you're a deceiver. You've been hurt so much now, you're hurting other people. But I want to talk to you, to the unrepentant heart. And in Romans 5, 2 and 5, the second chapter, and the fifth verse, it, it, it specifically says that God is angry at those who hearts that are stubborn and that are unrepentant. Some of you, you, you say, well, you know, God is mad at me. God is angry at me. Some of you say that you feel this way. Well, I come to let you know, yeah, 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 he is. He's angry. He's angry at you because you just won't listen. He's trying to get you to listen. He says the day that you hear my voice, harden out your heart. He keep talking to you, but you're not listening. Just like parents, you know this. And like people who are smart or you know certain things, but you have people or friends that you're trying to get them to see it. You might have nieces or nephews, kids. You're trying to get them to really see destruction, what they're doing. And the more they keep doing what they want to do, the more you become upset at them because you don't want them to hurt themselves. And you see the destruction is coming, but you can't do nothing about it. And this is where many of you are at, and this is what God is doing towards you. He's angry at you because he's trying to get your attention. You know, you know what's right, but you won't change. You won't do nothing about it. You just want to be stuck in your ways. The Bible says that uh, obedience is better than sacrifice. And, uh, and uh, uh, was it rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft and stubbornness is as adultery to be stubborn is like you, you, you're an idol worshiper you're worshiping yourself because you're so stuck on yourself you're so on yourself that you become your own idol you become your own image your mind your emotions your intuition this is you this is you but if you want God to come in your life and you want God to heal you, I do see repentance. I do see God restoring like the prodigal son. Because you know what happened to the prodigal son? He felt entitled. And he went to the he went to his father and told him he wanted his inheritance. And his father gave him his inheritance and he took it and let him go. And once he got to a place where he lost all of his inheritance, and when he was low with the pigs, and the pigs died, then that's what he remembered where he came from, who he is, what he want, what he was missing, his father, and he woke up. And this is what's happening to many of you. You're waking up. Your heart is unrepentant, and this message is waking you up. God is waking you up. It's time to wake up and forgive. You're waiting on God to heal you, to deliver you, to give you an answer, to give you a breakthrough to give you that financial breakthrough, the financial relief. 
you holding your own self up because your heart is hard. You become bitter. Bitterness is when you hold things and you don't let it go. When you hold people there, when you hold hurt there, betrayals, people, things, people dying, and you just keep it there and just keep it. That forms bitterness. And bitter and sweet, sweet water can't flow from the same fountain. God is sweet. And if you're bitter, you can't hear God. The Bible, God lets us know that follow peace and holiness. Follow peace and holiness. You got to follow peace and holiness. Without those two, you can't see God. Don't let a root of bitterness spring up in you. And then because the Bible says if you let a root of bitterness spring up, it's going to defile. Many are going to be defiled around you. And bitterness is like jealousy. And it's like, it's like jealousy. It's like the grave. The, the more a person is dead, the longer they dead in a grave, if you don't bury their they body deep enough under the water or under the ground, it's going to smell. There's going to be an odor. When a body is dead, the longer it's dead, there's, there's going to come a smell. And that's what's happened to many of you who are bitter and jealous, have hate, and you hold on to things. There's an odor. And it separates you from God. But God wants you to forgive, remove that smell, open your heart up, forgive, submit yourself, humble yourself, forgive, and let God in, and let him restore you. Will you let him restore you today? Will you? Will you? Will you? He's here. Let go and let God. Amen. Have a good day.